What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and tonight we're going to be talking about an exclusive preview that surfaced for Season 2 Reloaded, the new DLC weapon, and some other crossover content. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, there's plenty of brand new content going up over on Detonated.com for those who want additional coverage of multiplayer Warzone and Zombies, plus COD 2024, and eventually Warzone Mobile, plus we got plenty of tweets every single hour on Detonated's Twitter. Now, this past week was a bit of a weird one. We didn't end up getting the marketing that we were expecting for the mid-season 2 update. That was probably going to happen on like Wednesday or Thursday-ish to align with previous marketing schedules we've seen for a new season or for a mid-season. But now that it's the weekend, I'm going to guess that we'll probably end up getting that marketing either Monday or Tuesday. I mean, hey, we could even get marketing the day of launch. Who actually knows? We'll be live streaming every single day this week just in the case there is some marketing, a blog post to go over, and then we'll be live Wednesday either way for the brand new Season 2 Reloaded content. I'll be doing open lobbies and covering everything there is to know for multiplayer Warzone and zombies but this past friday there was a bit of a teaser still drop for reloaded which did confirm the only part of reloaded that hadn't been revealed yet but was leaked out for the last month and a half and that is the warhammer 40k collab over with call of duty so just about everything for reloaded has already been revealed through the initial season two blog post but there's a bunch of info that i know i covered in some previous videos about a warhammer crossover that hadn't even been teased yet but as call of duty went ahead and posted here on twitter inspired by the warhammer 40,000 universe Space Marines, Sisters of Battle, and Astra Militarum skins and more are coming to Call of Duty Warzone and MW3. So, as we covered in a recent detonated post, as of now, what is known about the Warhammer collab is that we're getting at least three different operator skins, the Servo Skull finishing move, a camo XP event, and other various cosmetics. I know loading screens did surface a couple of months back, and we weren't sure what they were a part of, but it's like I mentioned before, for those that are fans of Warhammer, you're probably really excited about this, but Warhammer and Call of Duty are drastically different games. It's kind of an obscure collab for Call of Duty to do, but it's cool that they're doing it just for those out there that either know about the game or for those that didn't and can get accustomed with a property they may never have looked into before. So this is going to be a very unique crossover in comparison to ones we've gotten in the past for MW2 and 3. Now, before we continue, I just wanted to remind you about MitchCactus.com, where you can get assistance grinding camos, nukes, or schematics in MW3. These guys do not use unlock tools or any bannable methods and will actually help you play the game. MitchCactus is also supported by Trustpilot with over 10,000 verified reviews. You can use Go Dynamite for a limited time to save 5% off your order. But first off with the XP Focus Challenge event, it'll be just like the one that's currently live in-game right now with The Walking Dead. You gotta hit different XP milestones to unlock various themed cosmetics. And then by the end of all those milestones, there'll be one grand reward, which is gonna be a universal camo. Luckily, gameplay already surfaced of the blue steel camo, which is perfectly themed around Warhammer, of course. And yeah, on top of that, there's also some footage of different finishing moves. They are definitely tied to the Warhammer collab. One of them is the Servo Skull one, which is clearly unfinished from the leaked footage. But I know data miners are leakers force loaded a lot of this content into their games. There's also footage of what appears to be a sword, or I guess we'll call it a chainsaw type of finisher that we're actually going to talk about in just a couple of minutes from now. You can clearly tell that someone's getting stabbed with a sword, but it has a chainsaw-like effect that's rattling their bodies, and you can see the vibration on the enemy there. So we'll get back to what that may mean in a second, but there's also the Jugger Mosh LTM, which we do need some more context about, which I'm sure is going to be in the Season 2 Reloaded blog post. It's probably going to drop in the next few days. They announced a bit of info about about it a couple of weeks ago, but we still don't know that much about how Warhammer is going to be integrated with this LTM, if at all. But what are the odds? It's a Juggernaut themed LTM in which everybody out there is a Jug in the match. It's in third person, and you can play matches of Kill Confirmed, Domination, and Hardpoint. There will also be a one hit kill melee weapon that can be found in each of those matches of Juggermosh. And it's a perfect opportunity for a Warhammer type of collab, considering footage did leak out a good two weeks ago of what appears to be Jug skins themed around the Space Marines of Warhammer 40k. These skins are clearly too big to be operator skins. They're very clearly juggery skins. I know leakers out there have suggested that in the game's files, these are in fact juggernog models. They aren't any models for regular operators you can play as in multiplayer or warzone. So with that, there is what looks like a Juggermosh LTM that may exist outside of the Warhammer collab, but easily fits in with the crossover so that they can incorporate those jug skins that I just mentioned a second ago. And then some images that surface as of this morning, which I didn't expect that all 
all. I don't know how this information just came to be since there hasn't been a new patch added to Modern Warfare 3, but it looks like the data miners found even more content related to the Warhammer collab. First off, Ultra Mars Vengeance. As it says, stand undaunted in the face of the enemy with his armor inspired by an Ultramarine's lieutenant. That's clearly a jug skin, and you could see in that image he's holding a riot shield, which gameplay also surfaced for not too long ago, and it's probably tied to a Warhammer bundle that we'll get to in a second. If not, then I guess it's just going to be held by these Jug reskins in matches of Juggermosh or wherever you can play as these big Space Marine looking Jug suits. Let's see how that's going to end up being incorporated. But then we have gameplay of what appears to be the new Soul Render melee weapon that is coming with Season 2 Reloaded. I believe it'll be a part of the Classified Battle Pass sector. We know in the recent Season 2 blog post, it does say the unlock requirement for this weapon is classified or redacted. Usually it says that when the weapon's going to be a part of the Classified sector, which we know is going to unlock in just a couple of days from now. So what will happen is the classified sector will open on Wednesday at around 10 a.m. Pacific. And then what you can go ahead and do is a series of challenges to unlock various rewards like XP tokens, aftermarket parts. And then you'll then unlock the HVT, which is going to be the sole render weapon. You have a fifth challenge to do to get that sword unlocked. And then from there, you'll pretty much have five new rewards unlocked from that classified sector alone. That's how it's worked ever since Mono Warfare 2 Season 4 when they first introduced the classified battle pass sector. Blueprints also leaked out for this sword called the Teeth of Terra and the Flesh Terror. So these are clearly a part of the Warhammer collab. There's also footage of these being inspected in the firing range, which looks absolutely insane. So it's going to be cool to see how this sword does play out. But for those that are wondering why we didn't end up seeing a sword blueprint in the Michonne bundle recently, they put Kadachis instead. It's because they saved the blueprints for this new sword for the Warhammer collab, which I know they probably could have done both anyway. But still, the sword looks pretty badass. It's pretty large looking. And I wonder how good it'll be against other melee weapons in Modern Warfare 3. But we then got some footage of what appears to be the Warhammer themed operator skins that are coming via bundles or whatever means throughout Season 2 Reloaded. It's unclear why this just surfaced this morning, though. I'm a little confused because typically the data miners and leakers go through a bunch of the content in the current build of the game whenever that update comes out. Within that first week of the update dropping, they'll go through it all. But Season 2 has been out for a good three-ish weeks, so it's crazy to see this just now surfaced, but it's been there all along, I suppose. We have the Space Marines, Sisters of Battle, somebody named Astra. So this is probably the full list of the Operator skins we're going to see as a part of this collab even if you guys don't know what warhammer is can't deny these aren't some cool looking outfits if you guys care about buying cosmetics then yeah but even if you don't care about buying bundles or spending money on cod points there still will be some free content to unlock via this collab we have that blue steel universal camo i believe the jug skins will be free to use in that juggermosh ltm and then that sword could still be used even if you don't go ahead and buy the warhammer bundles with those blueprints you can still get the sword for free via the classified battle pass sector so the skins definitely look badass or definitely uh, at the right scale in comparison to the jug skins that are massive they Clearly couldn't be regular operator skins. But then lastly, there's also what appears to be some cosmetics for the cluster mine and even the trophy system. So one is called the Crab Bomb, and the other one is called Sergeant Squeaks. So if you're familiar with Warhammer, you probably know exactly what these things are. But yeah, I do believe the Warhammer theme bundles will end up coming with various cosmetics for these pieces of equipment or field upgrades. We've seen a couple of bundles do this now where you got a throwing knife skin or a skin for the barricade or for the thermite, a flashbang, even the smoke grenade. We've seen a couple of bundles, including black. Axel, go ahead and incorporate things like this, which I'm not really opposed to if you guys want to go ahead and rock a different look on some of your field upgrades or equipment. But yeah, for those that love Warhammer, there's probably going to be plenty of content for you to enjoy. Hopefully the bundles aren't too overpriced though, where we're seeing 28, 3,000 COD point time bundles. That's just a bit crazy, but yeah, there is a decent amount of Warhammer content coming that hadn't previously been announced in the Season 2 blog post or roadmap, so definitely expect some marketing for more of this in the next few days, which I'll be covering here on the channel, of course. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the brand new preview that surfaced earlier this morning for the Season 2 Reloaded Warhammer collab? I have a separate video on the way because even more did leak out for Reloaded, which I want to put in a separate video because this one is just about Warhammer. But leave your thoughts down below on the brand new Soul Render Melee weapon and everything else we discussed. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.